With power still out for Texans across the state, many people are placing the blame on renewable energy and frozen turbines. Ice accumulating on a turbine can slow its ability to produce energy. Ice will actually accumulate on the wind turbines when the wind turbines are not running. And when they turn, you'll have ice sheets come off the blades. Which can be dangerous for any crews working nearby. Because of this, many wind farms across the state have shut down. But the vast majority of energy the state generates is through natural gas. In October 2020, the U.S. Energy Information Administration reported that renewables generated 22% of the state's energy, while gas generated more than half. In ERCOT's plan for this winter, it expected thermal and hydro resources, i.e. gas, coal, and water, would need to generate 67,000 megawatts of power per hour during a high-demand event. But this didn't account for an historic snowstorm where demand would increase and supplies would be threatened. On Monday, frozen instruments and a limited gas supply forced 30,000 megawatts of power generation offline, half of what ERCOT believed they would need. And according to the agency, wind turbines account for less than 13% of the total generation that was lost, the majority of which was coal and gas. So yes, there are some issues with renewable energies during extreme cold weather, but those issues are only a sliver of the greater problem that has left hundreds of thousands of Texans in the dark. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.